Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. And yet again, I have some yummy news for you guys. And a little bit of sad news. I um, I might come December 16th, I might not be able to do as much videos or research for you guys anymore. I might get a job with a university and the only reason why I'm taking the job is so that my son will get free college. They are offering free college education again for, and I'm, I myself are gonna go back to college, so that will be a bonus for me. So having said that, let's get on with the video because that was the doom and gloom part of my video. Some of the trolls said they want doom and gloom, so there you go. <laughs> now I'm going to give you guys the yummy stuff. So let's start off with Neo. Neo is trading at $7.25. It's down 68 cents. And I'm smiling, and you're going to know why. The 52 week low is seven, the high is $16.18. As a disclaimer, I hold 2,260 shares at $3.53. Mm -hmm. And on the SoFi platform, I hold another 399.21 shares at $9. Yes, on SoFi, you can also buy incremental shares. So again, I'll leave the um, link in the description. In the sorry in the comments if you guys want you can click on it and sign up to SoFi and they'll give you guys some free shares they'll also give me some free shares but anyway guys so first let me start off with this Neo is down today why is Neo down because Alibaba came out and put out great profits however however Alibaba said that their um, their innovative their technology arm uh, they were going to do a spin-off on their cloud arm of the company and they said they're not going to do that anymore and the uh, um, market reacted badly towards that so the stock dropped excuse me guys so don't panic <laughs> if anything you want to buy another couple shares today excuse me guys I, I will not fault you on doing that um, we always want to look for the dips and drip invest slowly. So I also want to talk about this <laughs> before I get into the meat of the topic. Polestar. Polestar is selling their Polestar 2 in America at $49,900. But in China, they, just gonna, they are about to release the Polestar 4 for $41,000. And the reason for that is they took a page out of Neo's book. <clears throat> they stripped off some of the tech from the car to be able to sell it cheaper. So for those of you who don't think that Neo is leading and innovating and everyone is following, here you go again. In terms of LiDAR, in terms of our uh, suspension system, in terms of the glass on the roof of the car that blocks out 99 point something UV rays, in terms of we're the first company to come out with a phone, just to name a few. But anyway, guys, um, also I want to talk about uh, Biden and Xi, uh, Xi Jinping. They discussed the safe use of AI yesterday. Xi Jinping focused on U.S. restrictions on Chinese access to high-end tech, amongst other things. And now to get into the meat of it. Remember, remember I always say that people focus on Neo delivery, the amount of EVs we deliver. That will be a reflection on how quickly we become profitable. And I keep saying on this channel, no. It's not just going to be on our delivery numbers. Yes, our delivery numbers on the EVs is going to play a significant part. And I say that when we come out with the uh, lower end car, I have to stop calling it a sub-brand because it will be under the NEO's logo, most likely now. The, our lower end car with still uh, under the NT.3.0 platform that... And when we flood the Chinese, European, and most likely now the San Francisco, the California market, we're going to see huge numbers. 
And <laughs> listen to this. Other companies that supports NEO is getting ready for the ramp up. So here's the proof. NEO supplier Innovision, this is the company that supplies our LiDAR, says its cumulative LiDAR deliveries exceeded 200,000 units. Driven by demand, Innovision new production line is in the works. So driven by demand, they have a new production line that's getting ready. They, they, they're building out a new production line. December, it said, as of November, Innovision cumulative LiDAR deliveries have exceeded 200,000 units. The NEO supplier announced today. Now the news gets better. Wait till you hear this. Since the start of NEO ET7 deliveries in 2022, Innovision has made steady product deliveries and realized cost reductions. Uh huh. Efficiency gains, the company said. Innovusion partnered with the forward thinking and highly recognized customer over several years to complete a rigorous validation that facilitated the deliveries of nine models, right? <laughs> deliveries to nine of our models. Innovusion did not directly mention the name of that customer, though it is apparently us, Neo. Currently, Innovision has an annual capacity of more than 300,000 LIDARs, according to the company. So they have capacity of 300,000 already. They can do 300,000 a year, but they're getting ready to do more. Driven by demand, Innovision's new production line is already in the works and will enter mass production in December. Why do you think they're entering? They're going to be able to enter mass production in December, guys. They're getting ready for us, okay? But not just us. Wait. Founded in 2016, Innovution has R&D centers in Silicon Valley, Suzhou, and Shanghai, and LiDAR manufacturing bases in Ningbo and Suzhou. The ET7 is the first model to feature Innovution's LiDAR with deliveries of the Neo sedan beginning on March 28. On May 24, Neo launched the new ES6 in China, blah, blah, blah. On September 21st, NEO unveiled its first in-house developed chip. Remember, we spoke about that. First automotive company to do that. Yangjian, a LiDAR master chip. The company said at the time that the chip would begin mass production in October. Now, this was a joint venture between Innovision and NEO. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's one company. And you're going to see what I mean by this. Remember I told you guys, we're building an Amazon type corporation, not just an EV company. Watch what I'm about to tell you guys. The chip has the logos of NEO as well as Innovusion and was jointly created. The Yangjian chip was defined by Innovusion and developed by NEO's R&D team. William Lee, NEO's founder, chairman and CEO said in a response to a question from CNEV Post at a media event in September. The company cited market research firm Yol Intelligence in today's press release and saying that it ranked number one, numero uno, in global LiDAR market share in 2022. Innovision global share in 2022 was 28%, followed by Valio and 24% at HiSea, etc., etc. In addition to NEO, Innovusion is exploring other customers. This is where the news gets beautiful. They are exploring other customers. Why is that important to us? You'll find out soon. And plans to go public in the US. I will be buying shares in this company, guys. And when they go public, on the day they go in public, as soon as I find out, I'm going to let you guys know for those who want to buy shares. On December 8, California-based electric vehicle maker Faraday Future announced that it selected Innovusion Falcon LiDAR to power the FF91's autonomous driving system. So other companies are already using Innovusion. Innovusion has also partnered with a number of companies including Too Simple, a driverless technology company, and Mogo Auto, a Chinese self-driving startup. Innovusion plans to issue up to 21,382,252 ordinary shares and list them on NASDAQ exchange. Now, through the SoFi app, a lot of times now we get a chance to buy into the IPO if it's coming out in an IPO, not a SPAC. Remember with a SPAC, you can buy before they merge. 
with an IPO you can't do that but on SoFi platform a lot of times you're allowed to do that now okay uh, according to an August 10 announcement by the Chinese Security Regulatory Commission now why is all this so important for us guys why is this so important for us okay Neo investment arm Neo Capital led a 30 million dollar series A funding round for infusion in 2018 highlighting a strategic partnership now remember I always spoke about Neo creating partnership that goes under the radar no one knows or talks about it or highlights it like the Sinopec agreement like the Shell agreement like the sporting venues in China agreement where we can put our battery swapping stations etc etc this one here I believe will grow into more than a partnership it will grow into a blend where we become one company a lot of these companies this is what's going to happen in order for them to even survive Neo Financial Banking and Strategic Partnership have allowed Innovusion to develop its LiDAR technology and bring it to the market faster. And we were the first to invest into them. So, I hope you guys are excited as I am. <clears throat> now remember, they are ramping up and building out more lines, getting ready for what, guys? Getting ready for our... Firefly and Alps brand, which will be branded now under Neo, undoubtedly. Just like the production lines, uh, just like we're getting ready to buy over um, that factory. So I hope you guys understand the importance and ramification of this. These are the type of research that other YouTubers are not talking about. I'm not highlighting but these are huge huge partnerships that are flying under the radar and like I said these partnerships I truly believe is going to turn into a blending of companies we are preparing ourselves chip by chip to become a monster corporation and the negative Nancy's and trolls that are spreading fear and like I said this before, history keeps repeating itself where the sheeps, the uneducated investors, sadly run to the hills and us lions come out to feed. And they, the poor stay poor and the rich get richer for that same reason. So I hope you guys found this video informational and inspirational. If you did, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It'll help encourage me to keep doing research like this for you guys to show you guys why we're going to make considerable money. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we get rich or we die trying, guys.